The optics of this play directly into Donald Trump's narrative of a city under siege. Protesters pulling down the fence surrounding the federal courthouse. But those doing this are a minority. Behind them are thousands of peaceful protesters marching for Black Lives Matter, exactly two months on from the killing of George Floyd. But the movement has morphed into something different. The intervention of federal troops igniting an anger that wasn't here before. I'm not going to go and be violent. I'm not going to go try to, like, hurt anyone. I don't think anyone else is really out here for that either. But people are very frustrated. To better understand the reality of what's happening in Portland, we need to show you what it looks like here during the day. A protest camp opposite the court has a sense of peace and permanence, and the numbers are only growing. The irony of it is that more and more people are coming out to support locals and to get the feds out. I mean, moms are here now. A call to arms by one Portland mother saw 2,000 respond. They now form a protest wall each evening. The feds being here is ridiculous, and so I feel that we need to make a stand and show that's not allowed in our town or in the U.S. for that matter. When I say left, that means your left foot's hitting the deck. Veterans right. now march as a right group too, as do a newly formed contingent of nurses. Far from the anarchists Donald Trump describes, but with a violent minority, it can be a confusing picture. And the legalities of what's happening here are complex too. Federal troops are legally entitled to protect federal property like this courthouse, but it's highly unusual for an administration to send in law enforcement without the invitation of local police. And each night at the moment, agents in riot gear are pushing protesters several blocks back. And that is stretching the legal limits of what they're allowed to do. <laughs> Protests had dwindled to just a few hundred people before the arrival of federal officers here. They far from restored the order the president pledged. But the scenes that have followed may well play into his campaign of law and order. Sally Lockwood, Sky News, Portland.